I'm going to speak about banned books in general and why I think they shouldn't be banned. Uh, personally, I feel that books create discussion in our communities. They're a way that we connect with one another, a way that we respect one another. And whenever you ban discussion about something, you, you ban a person. And when you ban a person and you ban a connection, you ban an advancement of society. And that's why I think books and discussion shouldn't be banned in general. The uh, reason why I think Brave New World should be read by everybody uh, is probably because it is a very, it's eye-opening. It's something to, or for society and everyone in it, to kind of keep an open mind and be watchful of the groups, governments, and people in power to make sure they do not obtain too much power over you as the individual and over society and what you do, what you say, what you believe. And that's why I believe everybody should read this because freedom is important. I chose To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Um, I love this book since I was a, a sophomore in high school when I was taking honors English and it may opened my eyes to what it was talking about racism and segregation back in the 1950s and um, I, it's some of the stuff that could be banned was uh, of racism, segregation, um, the violence that, that occur with um, with a prisoner in jail and, and the little girl getting harmed and she was fortunately saved by a costume that she had for her school, uh, school dance. Um, I think this book shouldn't be banned just, just because like it's, you can't really remove what happened to the past and what happened to the to what happened to the character itself, but to what happened to the person as well. And it also goes in very detail of what was going on back in that time and, and just explains of how people were being treated and how we should be able to treat others today.